What's up, guys? Mr. Arnold back up in the mix today, and thanks for watching and taking part in this little five minute review. Today, our topic is going to be the domino theory. And, guys, this might be an introduction for some of you learning in global history, whereas in others, it might be a review for some of you guys who are learning United States history. But nonetheless, be ready to strap on that seatbelt and get ready for the ride. Alright guys, before we dive into the domino theory, let's define it. Now the domino theory was a belief that if one country or nation or region fell to communism, then the other surrounding countries would fall in a domino effect. Now guys, let's also keep in mind the time period when this happened. Remember, after World War II, there is a mad scramble, not only for power, but for natural resources. So, the United States does not want to do the same thing that they did after World War I and not make the same mistake twice like Chris Brown and Rihanna. No, no. So what do they do? They develop a plan that's going to aid. And the Soviet Union, as well as other communist nations, do not like this. So there is conflict that is going to be created. And the domino theory is put to the test. All right, guys, eventually the domino theory is put to the test. We're going to look at it by analyzing three specific events. The first two events we are going to look at are the Korean War and Vietnam War, and they deal with the big idea of containment. Now, the Korean War was successful in containing communism, halting it to the 38th parallel. However, the Vietnam War was not successful, and American troops were eventually withdrawn, and Vietnam eventually fell to communism. Now, the third event I want to look at that deals with the domino theory is the Cuban Missile Crisis. Cuba eventually became communist under Fidel Castro. And because of this significance, they are only 90 miles from the United States. And it marks the first time a communist state is in the Northern Hemisphere. Eventually, the Soviet Union wants to aid the nuclear missile program of the Cuban communist government. However, the United States eventually quarantines Cuba. Eventually, an agreement is reached in which the missiles are sent back to Mother Russia. And Cuba is not allowed to be attacked or invaded by the United States. Eventually, the use of the domino theory is no longer needed and the threat of communism shrinks. This is marked by the fall of the Berlin Wall and these famous words. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. All right, guys, and when Ronald Reagan ushers those famous words, it signifies the end of the use of the domino theory and forever laments its legacy. A legacy filled with the big idea of fear. Fear of the communist world taking over Western ideals and Western society. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.